الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد اي لحبت في الله the question arises as it seems to be something or a point of contention for some of our brothers and sisters in Islam about the importance of Tawheed, the importance of Islamic monotheism and that it appears that some of the people and the ulama are aware of this some of the people they belittle the concept of Tawheed or they believe Tawheed can be taught in five minutes or they believe that Tawheed should not take the important status that it has in calling to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that there are other things which perhaps become more important and these are the statements of the Hizbiyin that the ulama have spoken about from scholars like Abdurrahman Abdul Khalik who the ulama like Sheikh Rabi bin Hadi Madkhali have refuted with ample evidence showing that these kind of statements and those people who belittle ilm and true ilm, the true ilm is ilmillah, is knowledge of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and how to worship Him. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Fi kitabi al kareem, Wa ma khalaktu al jinn wal intil liyabudun. I have not created mankind and jinn except for the purpose of worshipping me. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala clarifies for us what our purpose is in this life. And that's a reminder for you and I to make that tatbik of tawheed, to affirm Tawheed to constantly make sure that when we call others and when we act and worship that it's based on Tawheed it's based on that Ghaya that purpose that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created us for I have not created mankind in the jinn except for the purpose of worshipping me that does not mean that we don't pay attention to manners and that does not mean that we don't pay attention to social issues. And that does not mean that we do not pay attention to the ills of the community and what's happening around the world, around us, and within our community. But rather, it prioritizes for us and lets us know that the call to Tawheed is never forgotten. And all of those other matters are rectified by pure Tawheed and Iman. That those things will rectify your community. Because the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was sent to all mankind and he began with his people and he began to what? To call in the Tawheed. Without, uh, in the initial stages, the Salat was not implemented and the fast was not implemented and the Hukum, the Ahkam of many acts of, uh, in acts of worship and so forth were not implemented. Instead, it was building Iman based on Tawheed. So they rectified the status of their community, the station of the individual and the community as a whole through Tawheed and Iman. Because they faced the crime and the sick habit amongst the Arabs of Jahiliyyah of burying their female children alive. And they faced prostitution and zina and fisk which was also something in their community they also faced the extremism and killing and slaughtering over tribalism and and these kind of uh, ignorant practices but these things were rectified and the community became brothers based on tawheed Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَاَعْتَسْمُوا بِحَبْلِ اللَّهِ جَمِيعًا وَلَا تَفَرَّقُوا Hold on to you all steadfast to the rope of Allah and do not divide. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions that the community that they were once divided and Allah made between them brotherhood based on Tawheed in the religion. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَلَقَدْ بَعَثْنَا فِي كُلِّ أُمَّةٍ رَسُولٍ إِنْ نِعْبُدُ اللَّهُ وَاجْتَنِبُوا تَعْقُودٍ And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, that we have sent to every nation a messenger to worship Allah alone and avoid those things worship besides Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That affirms for us Tawheed again.
And this affirms for us that this, this call to Tawheed was the call of all the messengers. So how is it now that we can begin with a new call to say, well, we have social ills to deal with. We don't need to spend much time on Tawheed when people are still worshiping graves and calling themselves Muslims. People are still sacrificing to the dead and calling themselves Muslims. People are still sub, 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 supplicating to their dead, to their fathers, to their grandfathers, to their sheikhs, and seeking tabarak from them, and calling themselves Muslims. And they still claim La ilaha illallah, Muhammad Rasulullah on their tongues, but it's not actualized on their limbs. So Tawheed Habitifillah is first and foremost, and it is prevalent, and it's the call of the messengers, and it's the call of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Alayhim Afdal Salatu Wasalam. Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala says, Fi Kitab Al Kareem, Waqada Rabbuka Allah Ta'budu Illa Iyahu Wubil Walidain Ihsana. And your Lord has decreed for you to worship Him and Him alone. And do not associate anyone, any partners with him. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, in that verse, he commanded us. And a commandment, a habatifillah, is evidence that it's something obligatory upon us. Al-amr yufid al-wujub, as the ulama say, that a command, it is evidence to show that something is an obligation unless there's a sarif. Unless there's something which show something else in the text would show that that obligation is no longer an obligation, that it is now mustahab or something else. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has commanded us with tawheed and worshiping Him and Him alone. And this also, a habitifillah, illustrates for us the qaida of ithbat wa nafi, or nafi wa ithbat. So here in this ayat, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala affirmed for us tawheed affirmed for us that we should worship him and him alone and negated that you should ascribe any partners with him. He negated shirk. He gr negated grave worship. He negated all of these things. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created us. He created us with this purpose. He knows us better than we know our own selves and he began the call for his messengers to call, to be united upon the call of Tawheed, of the oneness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, of worshiping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone by his divine names and attributes uh, in accordance with his rububiyyah actualizing and realizing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's rububiyyah that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created us alone that Allah is the provider of us and the sustainer of us and he's the planner subhanahu wa ta'ala of all of our affairs and that all worship should be directed to him subhanahu wa ta'ala alone Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows this so he subhanahu wa ta'ala of his divine hikmah legislated this for us and legislated that to be the means for rectifying those other social ills. So we don't neglect the importance of our manners as the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, مَا مِنْ شَيْءٍ أَتْقُلُ فِي مِيزَانَ مُؤْمِنْ يَوْمُ الْقِيَامَ مِنْ حُسْنُ خُلْقِ وَإِنَّ اللَّهَ يُبْغِذُ فَحِشَ الْمَدْبَذِي The Prophet alayhi salatu wa sallam said, there isn't a thing which weighs heavier on the scale of the believer than righteous deeds, uh, than good manners. And verily, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala hates wicked speech. Al Fahish al Badi. So that shows us that yes, our manners is heavy on the scale. It's heavy on the scale. But what's going to truly rectify your manners? Is it only focusing on manners in absence of Tawheed? Because no matter how righteous you think you are by doing the best, serving your parents, being kind to your neighbors, being gentle with your fellow brothers and sisters and gentle with all of the creation to the animals and environment and everything, but if you did that for a hundred years and you didn't worship Allah one day, it will be no benefit. It will be like dust in the wind. Because Tawheed is going to be what determines or a part of what will 
get you to paradise and save you from the hellfire with the rahmah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, with the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, by actualizing Tawheed, that will rectify your community because the Prophet ﷺ rectified the community with all of those things, with the righteous manners and with telling his Sahaba radiallahu ta'ala anhu majma'een and, and having good manners with even the Jews and the Christians and everyone and inviting them. But it was Tawheed which was going to save them from the fire. Once they embraced Tawheed, this is what will save them for the fire. So this is the Da'wah of Ahlul Sunnah. It's that call. And this is why this is a khata, a mistake for those people who claim that we need to only spend a limited time of Tawheed on Tawheed. That we, we know this already. And that we need to focus on just manners and, 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 and these other things. But in fact, we need to focus on all of those things. And we can never belittle Tawheed. This is why the Prophet ﷺ, he sent Mu'adh ibn Jabal anhu to Yemen. And he didn't say, oh Mu'adh, go to Yemen and be nice to the people. Not negating that he was righteous and nice and the best, setting an excellent example. But he said, ya Mu'adh, he said, in ahla kitab. Verily you will go to a people of the book. The first thing that you should call them to is to worship Allah alone. And then in the hadith of Mu'adh or the hadith of Abdullah bin Mas'ud radiallahu ta'ala anhumah where he said Kuntu radif al-Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that ayyum فقال يا معاذ زحديث معاذ أتدري ما حق الله على عباده وما حق العباد على الله so he said oh Mu'adh Mu'adh said he was on the a donkey with the Prophet Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم one day and the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said oh Mu'adh do you know the right of Allah يا معاذ أتدري ما حق الله على عباده وما حق العباد على الله oh Mu'adh do you know the right of Allah upon his slaves and the right of the slaves over Allah Mu'adh said Allah wa Rasulullah alam he said Allah and his messenger know best and then he said haq Allah ala ibadihi ya'buduhu wa la tushriku bi shay'in wa la yushriku bi shay'in wa haq al ibadi ala Allah wa haq al wa haq al ibadi ala Allah la yu'adhdhiba man la yushriku bi shay'in the prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam said the right of Allah upon his servants is that they worship him and him alone and the right of the servant upon Allah is that Allah will not punish him, punish him if he worships him and him alone. Ahabat Allah, our call is to Tawheed. And may Allah guide those people who misunderstand this call, or who forget this call, or who belittle this call. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Anything I said that was correct was from Allah Azza wa Jal. Anything I said that was incorrect was from myself and the shaitan. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyya na Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.